So today we're going to be decluttering the drawer that holds my blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. So I do have some palettes in here, like, you know, some blush palettes, uh, bronzer palettes, things like that. So you'll see kind of a variety of things. I do have some cream products as well. If you're curious on what I do with the products I'm getting rid of, I do have it explained in the description box. So go ahead and read that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, guys, so I have everything right here. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and start off with highlighters. So I have this acrylic organizer. I got this from Kmart a few years back. There's the brand, but you can find something very similar to this at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, things like that. So, anyways, three different sections. So I'm gonna do highlighters, blush, and bronzers. Highlights first. So these are my Makeup Forever highlights. They're like one of my favorites and I use them all the time. Can you see that? So stunning. So we're definitely keeping these guys. These are also new. I haven't really gotten a chance to play with them yet, but they're from Clinique. They are very nice highlighters. I have three different colors. They're so hard to show you. I hope this angle is working. You know, I just want you to see all the stuff, so. I also just got this. This is Too Faced Candlelight. Haven't really used it. I don't think I'm gonna keep it because to me, this is really, really light. Not sure if you guys can see. It's like white and then pink. So this, I'm actually gonna um, give away to like a friend and family. And if no one wants it, I will put it up on my blog sale because I have used it. So I don't wanna do like an actual giveaway with things I have actually used you know what I mean it's kind of weird so this could be like a blog sale type of item and then I do have this guy from Milani it's really pretty I haven't used this yet but I love the colors so this could actually be a blush but I'm gonna count it as a highlight because it says that it is a an illuminating face powder I also have this one from BH Cosmetics I've had this for years I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it Again, it's one of those things that I tried to make it work for myself, but didn't really work out. So, I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, my Opal from Becca Cosmetics, keeping this. I have this one from Bare Minerals. This is actually like, um, kind of a blush too, so I don't know. But a blush and a highlight. I'm gonna consider it as a highlight. I have another one from Bare Minerals. This one's so pretty. If I can open it. Look at that. Ooh! Stunning. Um, I have this one. This is like a bronzer blush. I mean a bronzer highlight combo from Etude House. I have Mary Luminizer or Mar Mary Lou Luminizer. God, so pretty. Um, I have this one from Ofra. This is so good. Very creamy. But I think I'm gonna get rid of it because it's something I never really reach for. So that's that. Very pretty though. Bobbi Brown. I think these are blushes. So yeah, these are brand new. I haven't used them yet, but look how stunning that is. It's going to be perfect for summer, especially this one. This is my favorite. So pretty. It has gold flakes in it. I have this Milani blush, which is actually brand new. So I think I already have this. Let's see. Yeah, I have Coral Cove already. So giving this away, <laughs> it's like totally brand new. Okay, so these I have here, let's see, I have Tea Rose, Romantic Rose, and Coral Cove, and they're so pretty, so I'm keeping these. <laughs> Global Glow, it's a mineralized skin finish. It's like a, to me it's a highlight. How do you open this? I could never open it. Oh, look at that. It's a bronzy highlight. Gorgeous. And then I have this one, this is Peach Party from Soap and Glory. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away because, I don't know, I just can never make anything like this work for me really. Okay, next I have this one. This is from it Cosmetics. It's one of those like ombre blushes. So pretty. I haven't really tried it out yet, but I'm gonna keep it. Okay, and then I have the Dior Luminizer. Look how stunning that is. Seriously, you guys, this is 
everything yes look at that oh my goodness yes so good i have the mariah carey one as well i haven't even used this yet and i don't want to so i'm not gonna swatch it for you guys but it's a gorgeous golden color we have uh, these guys let's just go ahead and put them away but these are all of the benefit box of powders the only one i'm missing is the hula light i have collected these for years like i think the oldest one that is like discontinued that I have is Georgia. I don't think they sell this one anymore. Like, it's such a gorgeous color. Just a nice peachy color blush. So yeah, I'm keeping these because I love my Benefit um, blushes. So let's see. My favorite ones are Dallas, Hula, Rockateur, and Coralista. So these are my top four from the Benefit Box of Powders collection. Okay, these guys I have had for years. And I think I will just go ahead and get rid of them. So we have a bronzer here. That's what it looks like. Just going to get rid of this. Um, this is a blush. I did have a video on these like a long time ago. And this one is new. I haven't even used this yet but I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them next we have Becca blush it's like a pinky purpley color let me swatch it for you I'm not sure if you can see that but it just kind of gives you like a pinky purpley color right there it is pretty I like it a lot okay I have this MAC Queen blush. It looks so gross. I've had this for years. I'm going to get rid of it. I never reach for it. I'm not like a cream blush type of person. We have some Milani blushes. I have Dolce Pink right here. So stunning. Very sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. And then this one is Delicioso Pink, which I don't know what they look like so I don't really reach for these two so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these I haven't used them or reached for them in months and I already have you know something from Milani in my collection so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these next I have NARS I think I have two NARS so I have two NARS um, blushes which I will keep because I love them like I have this one is deep throat really pretty like peachy pink blush and then this one is Matahari, like a purpley color, as you can see there. They're so pretty, so I'm keeping these. Next, we have Butter London. This is a cream blush that I never reached for. I just swatched it. It was pretty, but again, I'm not like a big fan of cream blushes, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I have here Tarte Dazzled blush, which I never used. And I think I have something really similar to this, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it away because yeah it's really something i never reach for i also have a Too faced uh blush this is really pretty i'm gonna keep this because it's just so dang cute this this is in the shade your love is king okay you guys we have some marc jacob blushes here um i think i only have four i might have another actually somewhere but I'm definitely going to keep all of this because I love them. Okay, next I have some Etude House. I've had this for years, like since college. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them or... Yeah, I don't know actually. Should I get rid of them? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. I've had them for years and I never really reach for them anymore. But they're just blushes from Etude House. I have this one more blush from Benefit. It's so pretty. I'm totally keeping this. Okay, we have some MAC blushes, which I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of because I've had these for years. I might keep like two of them, but yeah, I haven't used these for years, you guys, like since college. So I have Pink Swoon, which I'm sure I have something this kind in my collection. This one is gingerly. I have something very similar to that. I have something similar to this too already. It's peachy keen. Um, maybe I'll keep 
Melba. Melba has always been kind of like one of those really pretty like peachy blushes. So I think I'll keep this one. And what is this one? This is Spring Sheen. Um, nah. I'll just keep Melba because it's one of those like, oh my gosh, love it colors. And then we have Laura Geller. This is so cute. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. This is from France. It's just a blush. I haven't even used it yet, but it's so gorgeous. Totally keeping that. Okay, we have some highlighters. These are highlighters, yeah. So these are my hourglass highlighters. Totally keeping these. They're one of my favorites. I have another highlighter here. It's from Pure. It's a really pretty highlight, but so pretty. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this. It's a gorgeous highlight. Oh, I have my Lancome highlight, which is totally a keeper. And then we have here a tantalizer from The Rock. This is such a huge bronzer. I feel like I made a pretty good dent to it, but I still think I, there's like a lot left in here. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites though, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, and then we have... These are highlighters as well. They're from Lancome. I'm keeping them. I love them so much. We have here a bronzer from BH Cosmetics keeping this because I did really really love it okay I feel like you can see the thing is better so these are everything I'm keeping um I also got this right here which I keep um like little guys like this so anyways these are all bronzers so I'm gonna try and put this in in here in the tray right here so let's do that I have Kiko Milano which is a bronzer I believe I haven't really given it a chance, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. We have Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Honestly, this is such a beautiful color, but I can't stand the smell. I can't do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, we have some of Beach Cosmetics bronzers here. This one I'm gonna keep because I love it, it's the matte one. And as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. But this one right here I'm going to go ahead and get rid of because it is super shimmery and yeah, I don't know. I just never reach for it. I also have this one. This is from Becca and it's a cream contour. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I'm not big in creams. Here I love this palette from Rimmel. It's so good, you guys. I have it in the shade uh, Coral Glow number two. It is so pretty, you guys. It's, this is the perfect color for contour. This highlight's really good, and the blush is really good as well. So, highly recommend this if you're looking for something at the drugstores. It's so good. Okay, and then we have something from Pixie. This one looks really good, too. I haven't used this, I think. Or maybe I have. No, I haven't. I don't know, but it looks really good, so I'm keeping it. And, you know, I'll give it in a shot. Um, we have one from YSL. This one, I try to make it work for myself, but it's just too red for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. So this is what the drawer looks like so far. I'm loving it. There's so much room. <laughs> so I also have this little guy right here, which has, you know, liquid stuff right here. So these are from Shuomura, and I haven't used them. Like as you can see, I might have swatched them one time, but it's really something I don't reach for that often. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. It's just not for me. So I'm getting rid of those. This one also is just not for me. And then these are all like my benefit little guys, which I love, especially this one. This is like a new favorite of mine. And then another one that I really recommend. I'm, I don't even know if they still sell them, but Sunbeam. Oh my gosh, perfect. For summer y'all so we're keeping these guys because i love them like quite a collection they're just so pretty and yeah i like playing around with them and stuff I do have these which i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them i never reach for them they are i never reach for these they are just tart um i don't know cheek stains this one's like brand new so it's packaging so yeah i'll just get rid of them all right we have this section here which i do love so let's see i have blushes or highlighters from elf this is so pretty this is actually very very good it's in the shade blush gems i think it's so pretty okay so i have that and i also have this one from laura geller they're pretty similar laura geller as you can see is more gold but very similar 
This one is so much cheaper though, but they're both really, really good. I love them. Okay, and then we have these guys from Jouer. This is a cream blush, like a tint, the shade Petal. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't use them that much. Um, yeah, these are all creams. As you can see, I've used that one, but I didn't use that. Oh no, this is a highlighter. What is this? Yeah, they're all creams. So I might get rid of them. Not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the creams. I just don't reach for them. But I have a bunch, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of these guys. Okay, let's see. I also have these from Jouer. One of them is this. I don't like. I think this is a tint as well. Cheek tint. I'm going to get rid of this, but I will keep this one because this is powder and I love this. This is the Luminizing Brightening Powder from Jouer. I have this one from Colourpop. It's just too white for me, like for my complexion. But this is like the same consistency as the Lancome highlighters I showed you guys earlier. But it's just, I don't know, I don't want this. It's too white when I put it on my cheeks as a highlight, it doesn't work. A blush from Pure. I have something similar to this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And this guy as well, I never really used it. It's kind of like a brightening thing that I have from Jouer. And then I have some Maybelline strobing liquids, which I want to keep because I haven't gotten a chance to try them out yet. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. Just place them here on the side. Um, I also have my Benefit What's Up, which is a really good highlighter. I'm going to keep this. Okay, so now we just have here some palettes. We'll start off with the smallest ones, which are these guys. So I'm actually going to keep these because I love all these palettes. Really perfect for summer. And these are, actually one of these are blushes. So this is the bronzer. I raved all about this last summer. I can't wait to start wearing it again. It's just the perfect shade of bronzer once I get tan. Blushes, really pretty. So these are from Butter London, and you can actually take these out and put them in different ones so you can kind of customize. Really, really cool idea. I love these. And I have the Naked by Urban Decay. Really pretty. We have here the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, which I love. Oh my gosh, this is really, really good if you're looking for affordable highlighters. Oh my gosh. Look for this one, the one from e.l.f. This is... Yeah, it just says illuminating palette. Okay, I also have this one from Hourglass, which is one of my favorites, and the packaging is stunning. Like, look at those colors, yes. So blushes and highlights in this one. I'm gonna put this right here on the side because I like to reach for that one quite a bit. These guys from Jouer, which, you know, I bought them separately and then I guess put them together. So this one, I have a little sticker on so I know they're blushes, and then these are Bronzers, and I love these. My favorite one is Sun Swept, I believe. Or no, Sun Tan is my favorite, as you can see. I've hit Pam. This one is Sun Swept, and this one is Sunshine. So you can see the difference between the three. They are such great bronzers. So I love these a ton. I'm gonna put them here in the front because I do reach for those quite a bit. And then these are the blushes from. Jouer. I only have three of them, but they are stunning. Totally keeping these. Um, I do have these guys from Pure Cosmetics. I haven't tried them out yet. They are cream. They're beautiful. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them for a little bit longer and see if I actually use them. We have the Park Ave Princess palettes from um, Tarte. I think they're different. I don't know. They guess a contour palette on them, but one is shiny, one's not. This is the newer one. I got recently. Um, I have used it, but you can see they're different. Yeah, this one I've used a ton. So I don't know. Are they different? Yeah, they're they're different. So I have these two. I'm gonna keep them. I love them. Some blush palettes here. So I have my Lorac Pro Contour, which I'm just trying to use up, <laughs> as you can see. I love this. I highly recommend it. Um, this one I haven't even used yet, but, you know, it's one of those things I gotta keep. I gotta keep them from NARS. 
And then this is from Tarte blush palette. So beautiful. So this is a wild radiant, wild and radiant palette. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I haven't played with this yet, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it so I can play with it. This one I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. It's just too cool toned for me. I don't know. I never reach for it. I've had this for like a year or so. Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow. This is actually very, very good. But the only thing I really like is this and that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I don't really reach for it as much as I would like to. I really love this though. That's like really, really good um, under eye powder. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I don't reach for it that up as often as I would like to. Okay, this one is good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till I get tanner and I can use this again, but this bronzer is life. So this is from Pure Cosmetics. It is called the Glow Together. It's stunning. So this is like matte here on top, and as you can see, I used that quite a bit, and this is all shimmer, so if you want a little shimmer, you know, a little glow. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Y'all, if you haven't tried it yet, you should. Okay, I also have this one from iCosmetics. I think this is like a highlighter thing too, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and give it another shot. I only used it once and was like, eh. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it another shot. Okay, and then we have Tarina Tarantino Blush Palette. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I don't think I have a lot of like purples like that. So pretty. And last but not the least, we have the Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi palette, which I'm going to keep because I love. And that is it, you guys. Woo! That is everything. Look how organized everything is. Everything has its own space. I freaking love this. Yay. I'm going to go ahead and lay these down just so they don't, like, make noises every time I open the drawer. Like that. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Love how this looks so much. So quick recap, everything that I'm getting rid of is in this box. So we got rid of two palettes. Got rid of most of my creams here. Not my phone. <laughs> we have here some Jouer products that we got rid of. Um, some MAC blushes. Soap and Glory, Milani. Too Faced, BH Cosmetics, YSL, Becca, Physicians, Formula, some Etude House, more Milani stuff. So yeah, we have a good variety here. If you're wondering what I do with these, you know, I like to ask family members or friends if they would like any of them. If not, and if they're like in good condition, I'm going to go ahead and put it up on my blog sale account, which is on Instagram. It's Charmaine's Closet. So I do sell things on there that are either new or swatched. Um, but if some of these are new like this one, I'm definitely gonna um, add in the giveaway pile for you guys for future giveaways. But like for the ones that, you know, I've already swatched and stuff like that, I don't do giveaways with those. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. So anyways, that is it you guys. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and find it somewhat helpful. Um, blushes to me don't really expire unless they're cream blushes then I feel like if it's a little over two years then just get rid of it because they do tend to get kind of stinky because you know it's cream it gathers up more bacteria um, but yeah so a lot of these are you know the ones that I kept are mostly powders and yeah so anyways if you have any other questions feel free to leave it as a comment down below thank you all so very much for watching and I hope to see you all soon in my next video bye